Hey guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about foods for stress reduction. And this one is a heavy hitter. And by that, I mean we all really like it. It's chocolate. And I'm not talking like milk chocolate, white chocolate, which for the record is not actual chocolate. Don't bring that up in here. We're talking dark chocolate. And the more pure it is, the better, the more potent you're gonna get because you want that cacao to just be as pure as possible. Anytime you taint it with like sugars and milks and stuff like that, you're kind of actually depleting the nutrients that come out of it. And some of you who have never been introduced to dark chocolate and are used to things being a little bit sweeter might be taken aback because it's a little bit bitter, but bitter in this case is better. So <laughs> just, just start out in small doses and I promise you'll be able to ease your way into the actually good for you chocolates. So, I mean, I know the holidays with them right around the corner, everybody's getting their sweet tooth back out of the closet. Some of us, we never lost that. It's never hidden. <laughs> Cacao is an awesome option because it is just like one of those other ones that we were talking about in the group. So berries, avocados, and nuts. It is a powerhouse where it's got a bunch of nutrients in a tiny little compartment and you're just gonna get so many additional benefits. It's got flavonoids that are actually gonna help with your heart health. So you'll see a reduction in blood pressure often and you'll have better heart health as a, as a byproduct of having that regulatory blood pressure and kind of helping you with your stress levels at the same time because most of us don't realize that when the blood pressure gets high, so does our rage levels and so does our anxiety. It kind of makes your body go in overdrive and we don't want that because if you push a machine past its breaking point for too long, you're gonna see everything come off the wheels. So just like a machine, we have to make sure that we're keeping everything oiled, lubricated, and we're keeping that maintenance up. I sound like a mechanic, but let's be real, it's kind of, I'm kind of a mechanic in the way that it's like a body. So we're fine with that. It's holy cool. Whatever works for you as far as the analogies. Personally, I'm more of a house kind of gal, but that's what it is. <laughs> so they're also really great, obviously, for improving your circulation throughout your body which is going to be imperative. It's a great way for your body to kind of get everything that needs to get to other locations where it needs to be. So for example, I explain it to clients all the time as like, I live in LA by the way. So we get traffic pretty much on a daily, <laughs> on like an hourly really. But when you have a car accident or something like those, something along those lines on the freeway, you'll notice that obviously traffic slows or stops all together. And you're kind of, that would be inflammation for your body. And then you have your first responders such as police, firemen, EMTs, all that jazz showing up to the scene of the crime or the incident that's currently at play. And once they've alleviated the issue, you'll see that everything starts to flow out again. If, for example, we had that chronic inflammation and we just were unable to resolve the issue, you'll still have emergency responders running to the situation and everybody realizes that you can't, multiple people can't be in the same location at once, right? I mean, if you've gone to Disneyland during the holidays and you just, felt super claustrophobic because there was no room for anything because everyone's standing on top of each other. That is a great, perfect example. You wanna make sure that you are keeping that circulation going because that's literally your lifeblood pouring out into the nutrients that your body needs to different locations. It's like UPS or the Postal Service or Amazon, everything needs to get where it needs to go Otherwise, everything's at a total standstill. And if you stand still too long, it doesn't end well. So the point is circulation is good and chocolate 
dark chocolate is really good for improving that circulation. We're going to talk a lot about other foods and nutrients and essential oils that you can reach for that are going to help reduce your stress levels at home. Um, until then, make sure you are checking out the blog below. I'm going to put in another blog our blog link so that you guys have more options available to you and of course more recipes. And if you have any questions, concerns, just want to talk, feel free to send me a comment or you can always message me. That works too. Just give me like a day or two to respond. <laughs> Whenever you open the doors, we tend to have a lot of people walk through. So just be patient. I promise I will get to it. And until then, I hope you guys are staying safe and happy. All right, bye.